Welcome to Road to Homesteading. I'm Jason. Today it was fairly warm, especially for January in southwestern Pennsylvania. I was over at my good buddy Bob's house, and we were sitting around doing a few things and talking about foraging and mushrooms. We decided to go out to his property and look for some mushrooms with his oldest daughter. And we came across the amber jelly mushroom. Um, I couldn't really find this species in the Pennsylvania Mushroom Guide, but I was able to find it in the um, mushrooms of the eastern United States and eastern Canada. And it seems to be fairly common in southwestern Pennsylvania because I see it all the time when I'm uh, hiking. Uh, we knew that this species was edible, but I do suggest if you're not really sure with picking wild mushrooms to double check field guides and do a spore print if necessary. And neither of us had really tried this odd looking mushroom before. And at first glance it does look like something you wouldn't want to eat. But the species is edible, like most of the jelly mushrooms, although some of them are not edible. Just be sure to always double check when eating any wild mushroom. The taste of this mushroom raw was fairly bland and the texture is really rubbery. Um, but we've picked a few handfuls, gathered some up, took them inside. And we rinsed them and soaked them for a while to make sure they're clean. And then we heated up a pan with some sesame oil. We added the mushrooms and some minced garlic, a little bit of red pepper flakes, salt, a splash of soy sauce, and a splash of rice wine vinegar. And we sauteed the mushrooms for about 15 minutes. And the mushroom, even though it was cooked for about 15 minutes, is still had a rubbery texture and since the mushroom is kind of bland it actually absorbed the flavors we cooked it in with the soy sauce and rice vinegar but which was fine because we added it to our um, venison meatballs that Bob had prepared earlier with his homemade sauce and noodles and it complemented the dish fairly well thanks for watching remember to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time.